Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today's the Jonas Crochet Collective Motif Blanket. This is number four, the pebble stitch. This is a really fun little stitch to do. It does create this pebble look, and we are going to start immediately with your five millimeter size H crochet hook today. And let's begin. This is a nice, easy repeating pattern. Let's begin our first row. If you would like to change the size of this and do this with anything else, it's just in multiples of two. But for our purposes, for our blanket, it's just chain 28. So one, two, three, four, five. Go all the way to 28 for me and meet me back here in just a moment. First row is that we're gonna go second chain from the hook. So just count it back, so one and two. I like to turn it over and get the back hump of the chain, of the chain itself and just single crochet that all the way back across. When you come all the way back across, you should have a total count of 27 single crochets all the way across, and please do this for row number one. When you're all the way across, just turn your work, and we'll begin number two in a moment. Starting on every other row from this point is always gonna be the same. So rows number two and four are always the same. So you're just gonna chain up one and place one single crochet into the first. The next one will always be a treble. So wrap the hook twice and going into the next stitch and pull through, pull through two, two, and two. So in crochet, naturally when things squat, they always squat towards the opposite side to what you see. So when you go into the next one here, it causes the treble to squat in the opposite side of the work. So we're currently on the wrong side of the work, which means that this side here, when it squats out is the good side, the right side. So after you've done your single crochet the next, you treble into the next one after that, and you keep alternating between the two stitches. It's a really easy stitch to do. So then single crochet the next, and you see that it just squatted to the other side. So treble, and then single into the next. Please do this all the way across for row number two. When you come all the way across, the last stitch should be a single crochet if your stitch counts are proper. And so when you turn it to do row number three, you can see that the side has all the texture to it, which is the right side of the work. Let's begin row number three. So row number three, you're just going to chain up one and apply one single crochet in each one of the stitches. This helps stabilize that treble to make it sit and look as great as it can. So you're just gonna apply one single in each of the stitches across. Please do this for row number three. So you'll get all the way to the other side. You're gonna turn your work and begin number four. So number four is exactly what number two was. You just chain up one, one single into the first, and then treble into the next, and so on. So really there's only two rows that you have to remember throughout this whole thing. Okay, so it's treble into the next, and then single, and so on. Please do this for row number four. Coming all the way to the end, the last one should be a single crochet if your counts are proper. So going to number five in the diagram that you see is nice and easy. It's exactly as is as in row number three. So moving forward, you just chain one and apply one single crochet in each of the stitches. So with this pattern here is that you are going to just repeat these two rows over and over and over until the cows come home, okay? And that is a total of eight inches in the height. So you do wanna finish with a single crochet row that is straight across so it will match the first one. And then you're going to proceed then to your edging. So get yourself to eight inches and this is how this is done. Create your edging and then you need a total of five of these for your blanket. So I'll see you next time and we hope you have a great day.